Today in the bass fishing world, there are so many different types of rods and reels to choose from. But today on Bass Fishing Declassified, Kyle Cordiana, Miles Berghoff, and myself are gonna share with you one combo, one rod and reel combo that can go through a variety of techniques to help you when you go out there on choosing your rod and reels. Hey guys, Kyle Cordiana here, Bass Fishing Declassified. Real quick, I've been asked, what is the one rod that I can put in my boat that I have the most confidence in? I can throw a bunch of baits. It's a really diverse rod if I was only gonna buy one rod. If I'm gonna buy one rod, first off, the action is gonna be a medium heavy action. If I'm gonna buy the length, I'm gonna say seven foot or seven foot three inches. I'm gonna pick a seven three, but I wouldn't argue with a seven foot medium heavy. This is a Kistler Helium, seven foot three, medium heavy, for my reel, I'm going with something with a seven to one gear ratio. This is a series one, 7.3 to one, Kistler series one reel. Uh, I can put almost any bait I wanna throw on this with the exception of some really, really light stuff. I can throw a swim bait on this. I can put a Booyah popper on this. I can throw braid on here and throw a Booyah pad crasher. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I can drag a worm. I can drag a biffle bug. Uh, I can even go down to a little shaky head and I still feel really good about it. The reason I would choose 7.3 over 7 foot is because I fish primarily out of a boat and especially in the summer months I'm making long casts so the longer rod gets me a longer cast. Um, but that's it. That's that simple. That's what I'd pick. I don't know. What would you pick? Okay guys, I'm about to talk about a rod and reel at a great price point for fishing a crankbait. Now I'm gonna kind of think of one combo and this one combo that I'm gonna talk about uh, with the length and the gear ratio can be for a new crankbait fisherman or even for an experienced crankbait fisherman, okay? Me, myself, I have five rods for fishing crankbaits with from shallow all the way to the 10 XDs. I'm very, very like cr deep cranking and any really depths of cranking is my thing, okay? One of my things. So I'm just gonna go and share with my experience one combo. So if you're new to crankbait fishing or if you're an experienced angler and you're just wanting to just have one or two crankbait rods uh, and you're just wanting to hear something to learn, this video is about to be for you or this segment of the video, okay? So y'all just heard Kyle. Kyle got a great rod and reel selection, all right? I'm going to first talk about my first legit crankbait rod that I got when I was 16 years old. It's this Quantum KVD cranking rod. It's the, the, the Tor KVD. It's a 7.4 medium action rod. Okay, now this was a specific crankbait rod. So on this 7.4 rod, okay, what I learned, and they don't make these anymore. As you guys know, KVD's not a quantum, right? He's with loose. But what I learned with this, all right, the 7.4 rod, I could throw a square bill with it. I also could throw and catch fish on a 5X and 6XD. And for a new crankbait fisherman, or even, you know, an experienced angler that doesn't go off to them deeper, deeper plugs, this is perfect. Okay, uh, I actually, this is retired, but I brought it out uh, a week ago for just a, I was trying, testing some things out, trying to throw some suspended fish with this. So this was my rod, okay, that I learned how to throw them 5X to 6XDs and square bills. Uh, now, but the rod I would recommend, okay, is in the Denali Attack series. I've been throwing Denali's for two years. If you've not watched the channel enough, you probably know I, I represent Denali. Um, the Denali Attacks has a 7.4 glass crankbait rod, and I think that's it. Now, if you're fishing more shallow cover, let's say you have a lot of cypress trees, a lot of docks potentially, and you're trying to skip that square bill or that shallow crankbait under areas, you need a shorter rod. That seven foot one might be better for you. But if you're gonna try to throw a shallow crankbait, a small crankbait to a 5X, 6XD, 7.4 is perfect, okay? This right here is a 7.6, all right? Now, once again, I told you guys, I got five rods. But this 7.6 I have throws my 6XDs, top rods, fives. This right here is a little John DD70, okay? So I, I keep it for, for them top rods. For my 8 to 10 XDs, guys, I'm throwing a 710. I have them on 710s. I have the Denali Attacks on 710. I'm putting it there. Now for the reel, okay? For, for the reel. All right, now I'm gonna talk about two reels. Just two, I got them right here. Uh, a five to one gear ratio reel, that one's in the five range, is was your just your old school, typical cranking reel. Pros still do it, some pros have even gone to the seven twos. It's really on your preference. I love the five to one for my deeper plugs. Um, this one right here is an old Shimano Corrado. This is a 16 year old Shimano Corrado, guys, and it is still 
getting news and catching fish today. I mean, it caught me a five and a half pounder just last fishing trip, I think, or maybe two fishing trips ago. This dude is catching fish, okay? This, so, uh, but one thing I did learn about this five one to one gear ratio, sometimes with them square bills, you might wanna reel it faster depending on the current you're fishing. And I know me fishing the Arkansas River a lot growing up, that five to one was sometimes too too slow. From And, and so I, as I've learned, you know, you might wanna go to a six to four to one gear ratio reel. Uh, one of the reels uh, I would share, once again, we're talking about cheaper rods here, that Denali attacks, I didn't even mention it, $130 rod, okay? And it will last you, okay? I'm not gonna recommend you a $300 rod, all right, in this in this scenario. If you wanna go spend the money, do it. Because once again, you spend more money, you're typically you, you get what you pay for. But that $130 rod, I mean, I got more of those on my boat than anything else, and they catch fish. This one right here, this reel, is a cheaper reel, once again, affordable, but it catches fish. It's just a Boo Garcia Black Max. This is a six to four to one gear ratio reel. Um, it, so, for, so if you're fishing the square bills, or really any, I mean, any depth of crankbait, this will get the job done as well. I just prefer the five to one to one, but I know some anglers like the six to four to one. Johnny is one. Johnny throws this right here on his square bills, on his five X, six XD type, type, you know, crankbaits. He throws this. So that right there, guys, is just a two, uh, is a rod combo. That once again, check out that Denali Attack seven four. Okay, it's a 7-bore glass, it's a medium rod, moderate action, and then check out either if you want a 5-to-1 gear ratio reel or 6-4-to-1, okay? Once again, just me sharing it, if you want to spend the money, go do it, okay? I've, I mean, guys, I've, I've had, um, I mean, I, I've had some nice, I've had a G Loomis, I mean, dude, they're awesome, but I've really gone back to just, hey, I'm going to go have that $130 to $180 rod, and then the reels I just kind of put in there, put together. All right, guys, let's go see what Miles has to say about his rod and reel combo for all. One way you can support the Bass Fishing Declassified YouTube channel is by checking out our team members' YouTube channel pages. Kyle Cordion on his channel uploads his tournament videos and recaps. Miles Berghoff does a variety of videos, from vlog videos to tournament preparation to fishing tips. If you're enjoying content from myself, you can check out my podcast that I've started called Real Life and Fishing. I video every podcast and it is up on the YouTube channel. All right, everybody. So we're here at ICAST 2023 in the Fitzgerald Fishing Booth. And, you know, talking about the best rod and reel combo for bass fishing, um, to me, that, that has to be a casting rod combo because there's a lot of different situations that you're, you're going to be catching bass in, you know, a lot of different types of cover, a lot of different techniques. And to me, spinning rods are, are great. And, and it, it, depending on what type of fishery, you know, if you're on a deep, clear fishery that doesn't have a whole lot of, of vegetation or, or uh, you know, cover that you're dealing with, maybe a spinning rod is the perfect all around rod for you. But to me, if I'm going from north to south, east to west, I want a good casting rod that can handle a wide variety of, of different situations. So my favorite uh, rod for, for bass fishing, I've said this in videos before, has got to be a good graphite 7.3 medium heavy or something in that ballpark. It depends on the brand. You know, some, some companies will make a 7.2, um, you know, a 7.1 in some cases. Anywhere from seven foot to seven three, medium heavy, depending on your height and just what you feel comfortable with, that is going to be the best bass rod for a lot of different things. You can bottom bounce techniques like a like a a, a, a text rig or a Carolina rig. Uh, you can even finesse fish a little bit like with the drop shot and stuff like that. So all, all those bottom bouncing techniques, you can also use reaction techniques, crank baits, spinner baits, chatter baits, swim jigs, all those things you can fish with a 7.3 medium heavy. And then uh, you pair that with a good casting reel, um, you know, something in the 7.2 to 1, 7.3 to 1 gear ratio, that 7 range is really going to treat you well for a lot of different situations. It's not too fast to to be able to use with uh, you know some of the crankbaits. It's not optimal for like deep diving crankbaits, but you can fish it. Um, and but it's 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 just a good moderate gear ratio for for those styles of fishing. Now 
this rod right here, rod and reel combo. If I was to 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 uh, recommend one rod and reel combo that you can get in for a reasonable price, this one right here is the Fitzgerald uh, uh, FX8 combo. This is a reel I've been using for several years. They've had the FX8 out. Uh, it's very smooth, eight bearing system. It's got uh, a real strong frame. Uh, got a really good deep spool, and then you've got this. I really like this this nice passing control right on the side plate there. That is just really easy to adjust the the uh, you know, the braking system. And so overall, really great reel. Um, I've been using it quite a bit on tour. And then they paired it with this uh, specially designed rod. This is the 7.3 medium heavy IM8. Um, this is the, or the FX8, but it is an IM8 graphite rod. All right, and so that's exactly what I'm talking about. This fits the, the exact bill of my favorite uh, type of bass rod that handles a lot of different things. So. Um, if you're going out there looking for one rod, you can't beat a good 7 to 7.3 medium heavy casting rod paired with a, a big casting reel in the 7 year ratio range.